Uh, people should have a psychological evaluation before they're able to get a hold of a gun in order to be able to determine if these people are like mentally fit to have a gun. Uh, the neighbor of the Ohio man who killed his three sons claims he was a very angry person, which uh, people like that who are quick to anger uh, honestly shouldn't be able to have something that could easily kill people. It was an asshole. Richard Kincannon tells me Chad Dorman had a temper. He told me he witnessed him often treating his wife and kids poorly. You felt like he, he was just angry, generally speaking. He was every day. Heard him. There wasn't a day he didn't yell at his wife and kids out there. What would he yell? All kinds of shit. He was just angry, yelling at her all the time, treating her like. Police arrested Dorman Thursday after he allegedly shot his wife in the hand, then systematically killed each of his young sons. Their dead bodies laid in the yard. So when you look at I wonder how much right wingers care about these kids being killed and how much uh, they care about protecting kids who are victim of gun violence. Uh, I mean, there's a lot that could have been done to, you know, Keep people that shouldn't be having guns from having guns. Again, you know, uh, a good psychological evaluation before a person is able to get a gun would, you know, be quite useful in preventing a lot of people who shouldn't have guns from getting guns. Look at that house now. What do you see? You want to see one of them? Yeah, I do. I still see the babies. Sitting in the yard, laying in the yard. The one was right there by the tree, right by the road, not even 20 feet from the road right there. This is where that dude laid him. Laid the one up there right beside that silver truck to the left of the tire, about five foot. That's all I see every time I come out here. That's why I try to look at that, focus on that. A tent now covers a memorial of candles, cars, and cuddled toys. Ken Cannon tells me. He's struggled to eat or sleep since the murders. He watched Chad Dorman cry at his arraignment and had no compassion for him whatsoever. This, this dude's crying because why? It, I, I don't know. I mean, he didn't, he didn't cry when he was killing his kids. He knew what he was doing. He planned it. It was premeditated. He shouldn't have a bomb. He should never see daylight again ever in his life and i think they should ex execute him the same way they did his the same way he did his sons is the way he needs to go out dormans due back in court on june 26th we will be there tanya o'rourke wc 